Hey guys, what's up? Pete's Oving Nerd here. Today we're going to be trying out seven different web browsers across three different operating systems on the Pine Phone. We're going to be trying out Morph Browser, Angelfish, Falcon, Gnome Web, Firefox, Midori, and Chromium. So, uh, get ready because I am about to show you some Pine Phone web browsers. Let's get into it. <laughs> So the first browser we're going to be covering is uh, Morph Browser as part of Ubuntu Touch. Now, this is the, one of the only browsers, this and Angelfish, are the only browsers that were made for mobile. So these have a distinct advantage over GNOME Web, Firefox, Midori, Chromium, all of that. So, yeah. Let's see if it can load a site. We'll go to Google because I'm a normie, apparently. Sometimes it loads fast, sometimes it doesn't. I don't know why I'm not kind of getting bad Wi-Fi signal right now. It's probably because I'm streaming, so... But it should be able to load Google. Ten seconds later. Here we go, it just took a second. Normally, if I have good internet, this is much faster. Uh, let's go to images. Oh, that, yeah, now it's loading much faster. I think I just had bad Wi-Fi for a second. We're gonna type... Uh, Linux memes. And it loaded pretty fast. Um, let's look at a Linux meme. Seems to be working uh, very well. Now, the UI is okay. The only thing I don't like about the UI is there's a tab thing at the bottom. That's kind of a weird spot to put it, in my opinion. Like, if I go to YouTube.com. If I go to YouTube.com, as you can see, there's like a tab down here now. Um, and it's blocking the trending text. So, uh, let's try loading video. We're going to load Pepe Pig Plays Minecraft. I don't know why that's in my recommended i guess i'm not signed in but let's see if this works um it it appears to be working i don't have audio going through you might be able to hear it but it is working and there is audio so cool so this is what it looks like vertically um the ui is kind of weird because these tabs are super small these are like small for like a laptop let alone a phone kind of hard to uh, like close tabs and everything with your finger. It's easier to do with a stylus, but with your finger It's kind of hard when you have like a fat finger. I don't know <laughs> So I don't really like it's vertical UI or not. It's vertical. It's a uh, horizontal UI, but uh, it does work. It still is functional. I do wish these tabs were bigger though Although I don't think I would like to browse like this But morph browser does work with everything I've tried which means that we are giving this five stars or not stars, just like five uh, green bars. So yeah, so now we're gonna move to Plasma Mobile. All right, so next up we're gonna be doing Angelfish. Now, this is the default browser inside of Plasma Mobile and uh, it's a pretty basic UI. We got a menu on the bottom. We have our tabs, which opens up a full screen tab launcher, of course, after some lag. <laughs> um, now, keep in mind that I don't know if this is gonna happen right now, but my internet connection is not working very well on Plasma Mobile. It keeps cutting out for random reasons. So that might happen right now. Um, anyways, we have our navigation bar. You can show the desktop site and you have go forward, previous, refresh and all that. Um, it does load websites. The layout is okay for um, vertical. Let's see if we can load a YouTube video. Angelfish is is a very slow browser from what I've tried so far, so this will take a while. All right, YouTube's finally loaded. Let's see if it can uh, run a video. I do like how there isn't really any intrusion up here. It basically, looks like an app aside from the bottom, and it does play a YouTube video. Now I am having trouble pausing it. It's not a very good experience, kind of wonky here, but it does work. Now, unfortunately, I'm probably an idiot, but um, I can't figure out how to go into landscape mode on Plasma Mobile. So there's probably a way I don't know how to. I feel like I'm just an idiot or something. But um, <laughs> yeah, so we can't aren't going to test landscape mode for Angelfish and Falcon. But other than that, Angelfish is slow, but it seems to be working well. We're going to give that a 4 out of 5. It would have got in 5 out of 5, but um, it... I couldn't test it horizontally because of Plasma Mobile, so four, 4 out of 5 works. Next up, we're going to try Falcon. Um, so this is a desktop web browser, and you can tell right out of the gate that it's supposed to be 
a desktop web browser. The buttons are very cramped in. You can't doesn't even have the full DuckDuckGo button. This kind of feels like it would need a stylus. But, I mean, it is functional, sort of. Not very good, though. Let's see if it can load a website. Just search Go with DuckDuckGo. I was going to type Google, but then I just saw DuckDuckGo button. I didn't feel like typing, so. One eternity later. Um, this is slower than a week in prison. I think this is the slowest web browser I've tested so far. This is not... It did finally well DuckDuckGo, though. Um, so, cool. Let's try loading a YouTube video. And I think it's frozen. So, alright. Let's try loading a YouTube video. First bad sign is it is not loading the mobile version of YouTube. So, let's just find something. Let's watch Mark Ass Brownlee. Uh, and, uh... Let's it, it, it kind of works, uh, hey, guys, but it, so, it could be better if it uses the mobile version of YouTube, but it technically passes, so yeah. We are going to give it a 3 out of 5, may, maybe a 4 out of 5 if it works horizontally. It might actually work horizontally, but it doesn't work vertically, and I can't test it horizontally, so yeah. Our next browser we're going to test out is GNOME Web. Now... This seems like it needs some patches because on pure OS ported to the Pine phone, uh, it does work pretty well, but um, it doesn't work on any other OS. So, as you can see, it does open on Debian Fosh, but it can't get it to load a web page on Debian Fosh or Post Market OS. It does work on pure OS though. So, uh, I am recording this live and then editing this later, so unfortunately the live stream cannot see GNOME Web working, but I will edit in GNOME Web working on Pure OS uh, into the video now. Its UI does work very good, however, on both portrait mode and landscape mode. Uh, this is one of the best browser UIs for mobile, even though it was made for desktop, arguably. I think this is a better UI than uh, a Morph Browser, even though it's made for desktop, so I'm pretty impressed with GNOME Web's UI. It's pretty impressive how well it works on a phone, even though this is actually made for desktop. So I do think GNOME Web has the best browser UI for a mobile browser. Here's some footage of it working on PRS. I couldn't get it, however, to load a YouTube video. I get an RSTP error, so yeah. So because of that, for the rating, we're going to give it green that it opens, and we're going to give it uh, green for the UI. However, for running a web page, we're going to give it yellow since it only works on some OS's. And for YouTube, we're going to give it uh, a red. So that means that we'll do half points for yellow. So that means this gets 3.5 out of 5 for its rating. So next up, we're going to be trying Midori on the Pine Phone. So this is what it looks like out of the box vertically. Let's see if it will load google.com. Again, I'm not Google normie. It, it seems to be loading pretty fast, although it is not loading like a mobile version of the website. This is a desktop version of the website. Growing does work. Um, I don't think it's possible from here to open a new tab. Oh, here it is. New tab. The tab layout is actually okay because it's using it's putting the tabs inside of the client side decorations. So tabs actually work surprisingly well. Let's try loading a YouTube video. It's probably going to have the same error I've been having with YouTube. Um, it is taking a little bit of while to load, like, all of the thumbnails and everything on YouTube. Understandable. So, yeah, YouTube is running very slow and choppy on this. Uh, I doubt this is going to work. Very slow and choppy. I think it, uh, but surprisingly, I think this is working, actually. It, it's working. It's loading a YouTube video. Holy crap, Midori is actually amazing. I, I did not expect Midori to work this well. Good job, Midori. Midori, the only thing you need to do now is use the mobile versions of these websites so that they load faster and they don't have to load a bloated desktop version. Otherwise, this is actually a really good mobile browser. I'm actually really surprised. Thanks for surprising me, Midori. Midori's UI also does look good horizontally, so that's a plus. Overall, I'm pretty impressed with Midori. So, uh, let's head over to our rubric, and, uh, this is actually a 5 out of 5. It is a little bit slow, however, it 
uh, it does work very good. It works surprisingly better than I thought it would be. So, great work, Midori. Our next browser we're going to try is Firefox. Now, Firefox uh, is probably the most complete browser out of these because it has the most features and everything because it's Firefox. <laughs> Everyone knows what you're going to get with Firefox. This is the ESR version, so it is a little bit of an older version, so keep that in mind. Uh, let's load a website, we'll just do Wikipedia, it's right here, I don't have to type. <laughs> and uh, uh, it is pretty slow, I will admit. The Gecko image, or the Gecko engine, isn't the best engine. Morph Browser does run way faster, but it is working, it is loading web pages. The UI is a little bit wonky, for many reasons. One, it's, definite, it's more of a desktop browser than GNOME Web, because GNOME Web integrated Live Handy and everything. So, if you open a bunch of tabs, the UI does get weird, and if you open this menu, for example, uh, there's a scroll bar, and it doesn't work, and if you don't click something in the menu, uh, it's kind of hard to leave the menu. I th you have to click back up here. Uh, this Firefox's UI has gotten better uh, significantly. When I first got the Pine Phone, Firefox's UI was basically unusable, but it's actually moving really quickly in progress. Uh, it's getting better and better. So keep it up, Firefox. Um, it, if you switch it to be um, horizontal instead of vertical, the UI is much better, aside from that pure OS keyboard that, um, that I couldn't get rid of for a second. Now, other than that menu, though, the menu does tend to work much better vertically. It actually doesn't even load horizontally sometimes. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. But some parts of the uh, of Firefox, like the preferences, for example, only work if you do it vertically, or I mean horizontally, whereas vertically is basically you use vertically, you hold the phone vertically to navigate most of the web browser, and then you flip it horizont horizontally to navigate some other parts of the web browser. It's really weird, you have to switch between them. So I'm gonna give Firefox a yellow for both its UI vertically and a UI horizontally. Now let's test if it can run YouTube. So we're loading up YouTube, we're gonna play whatever comes first. Again, Peppa Pig plays Minecraft. Um, we'll see if it works, and this is the same error I got with GNOME Web. Um, it says the address isn't understood because I need to install a codec or something. I could probably fix it if I want to try, but we're testing the out-of-box experience for all of these, so, yeah. So Firefox is going to get a red for loading YouTube, um, a green for opening- that's the wrong green. <laughs> a green for opening web pages and run- and, uh, opening the browser itself, but for the UI, it's going to get yellows, which means that this got a 2 out of 5. Alright, so I was going to test out Chromium, however, if I open it here, first it takes forever to load, and then it either crashes or it just has a white screen, and that's it. So, uh, I was hoping I could get Chromium running, but it's not running, so obviously it's going to get a 0 out of 5. Alright, so let's quickly rank the web browsers. Uh, Morph Browser is the best by far. It's It loads very fast, its UI is pretty good other than that, the tab stuff, um, and it can run a YouTube video. Midori would probably beat Morph Browser in my opinion if it had a mobile user agent. Because out of the box it loads only desktop websites, that kind of ruins the mobile browsing experience. So that almost got in first place, but it ended up getting second place because of that, but I love its UI on mobile. Um, Angelfish got third place. It is another one that could have got first place, although I couldn't test the UI horizontally on Plasma Mobile because I couldn't figure out how. It's probably possible, but I couldn't figure out how just by looking at it, and I couldn't figure out how by Google searching it, so, yeah. Gnome Web. Uh, great browser, has a pretty good UI. It can't load YouTube, and it isn't functional on... OS's that are not POS, so it works on POS, but it uh, doesn't work on Debian Fosh or post-market OS with Fosh, so that kind of sucks. Until they fix that, it's going to be uh, third place. Until they fix that, it's going to be fourth place. Vulkan. Uh, it, it's kind of slow. Um, it does open, and it can run web pages. Its UI isn't 
very good for on the pine phone though it might be okay on the tablet but on the pine phone no you can load youtube though so i guess that's cool firefox uh you get a full desktop browser that's very feature rich on your phone but you do not get a very good ui it is kind of a finicky ui so that's why it has yellows so that's half a point and it also cannot load youtube so that's the second worst web browser and finally, we have Chromium, which is the worst web browser. Why? Because it can't even open. So anyways, thank you to patrons Jim Peter, Michelle Vantino, and Sam Covet. The support really helps. Become a patron using the link in the description. And I hope this video helped you in some way. I don't know how it could help you if you don't own a Pine phone, but yeah, see ya.